All right, all right. I know a lot of y'all that watch my videos are familiar with the bad dads in anime, man. We got your Gokus, we got your Jengs, we got your Yujiro Hanmas, bro. But today I'm here to talk about the worst animated father. This nigga is the non-anime version of Shao Tucker. I'm not lying to you, bro. Today we're here to cover Invincible and the winner of the worst dad in the world award. All right, before I go any further into this, I did an Invincible video a while back where I covered just the majority of the show, but I really didn't go into details on Omni-Man, I'm not gonna lie. In that video, we talked about the fake-ass Justice Leagues or the Guardians of the Globe, and I'm not gonna hold you. After we talked about the boys recently and we had the fucking seven, or the six, the seven, I think it was the seven, I ain't gonna lie, them fake-ass Justice League, this one's way worse because if these Niggas aren't just rip off diet Justice League characters. I don't know who is, bro. So first off, we gonna start with Darkwing, who is honestly just a racist caricature of this nigga Batman, bro. This is just what Batman would be if he was from the hood, bro. There's a part in this I'm gonna talk about where Omni Man even speaks about this, but he implies it. This weird ass. Nigga. I'm not even gonna flame him, yo, cause he had it bad enough, bro. But next up, we got Red Rush. First off, this nigga has a soda name. What type of shit is that, bro? This nigga is a Mountain Dew Code Red that's super fast. He ain't even like Barry Allen where he got the speed force. He not Wally West. He ain't none of them niggas, bro. He's not a speedster. He's just fast. This nigga isn't strong. He don't got no momentum. He can't do nothing with lightning. Can't change time. Can't do nothing. Can't phase through shit. This nigga sucks. And he has a dumb ass period red suit on. Then we got War Woman, this fake ass Wonder Woman, bro. I ain't gonna lie, she kind of bad though. I ain't gonna hold you. Like, I, I, I probably would hit, you feel me? So I, I, I'm gonna let her slide, you know what I'm saying? We got Aquarius. This nigga don't even look like no goddamn Aquaman. He's a fish. Bro, this nigga looks like what Family Guy described to be a mermaid, bro. This nigga has the top half and the whole body of a fucking fish, bro. This nigga looks like he's in a Bass Pro fishing shop wall, bro. You look like one of them fish, you hit the button, they start talking. What's up with this nigga? Then you got Martian Man. Are you kidding me? Martian Man? Bro, this nigga is trash. He not like Martian Manhunter at all. At least Martian Manhunter had the same powers as Superman. He just had a fire weakness. This nigga sucks. He be stretching around. This nigga is not fucking Martian Man. He's Reed Richards. You got Green Ghost, who I guess is supposed to be fucking Green Lantern. What the hell is this nigga? This nigga look like a green screen, bro. This nigga sucks. And then you got the immortal, bro. I don't even know who that's supposed to be. Who is he a fake version of? Is he supposed to be Shazam? He definitely not Superman, because that's Omni-Man. I don't know who the fuck this nigga is, bro. I'm sorry that I had to go in on this fake ass Justice League, but I had to bring them up because they're relevant to the first episode. But let's move on. So once Mark Grayson gets his powers, bro, by accidentally throwing a fucking trash can into orbit, threw it into a whole nother. Anyways, his dad finds out and wants to train him, bro. But little does he know that he's getting trained by a psychopath. I ain't gonna lie, we need to put this nigga on trial for the tragedies that he has actually caused, bro. This nigga has caused so much physical and emotional damage. I don't emotional damage. I don't know how we're supposed to get past what he has done in this goddamn show. So he's explaining to Mark how it is to fly. And this is how you know this nigga is insane. He tells this nigga, it's like pissing your pants. Your whole life you try not to piss on your pants, but then you finally do and it feels good. What type of R. Kelly shit is this on? Are you telling your son to piss his pants to fly? And then nigga Mark couldn't even stop, bro. He's trying to stop himself from hitting the ground and still crashes into it anyway. This nigga did not care at all, bro. This nigga looks directly at his son and was like, get up. He don't have no sympathy. This is the signs of a serial killer, bro. He has no sympathy. He doesn't care about other people dying. He has a crate full of cats in his basement that he pokes with forks. I'm, I'm just kidding. I don't know about that last part, but anyways. They get to fighting back and forth at this point. He's like, punch me. Starts punching his dad, it doesn't happen. And eventually his dad gets annoyed and says, no, Mark, like this. And Mark looks at him with the weirdest face, a face of vulnerability and says, like what, dad? And he rocks this nigga, boom! He punches the shit out of Mark, bro. And it was to the point where his air was completely gone out of his body. This nigga Mark collapses on the ground and is in a fetal position, looking like Yamcha after the Cyberman attack. This nigga's like, how, dad, that hurt me. And he's like, I know, son. Then he had to do the walk of shame all the way home. They go in the house and this nigga is looking bruised and abused, bro. His mom asking what's going on. Wife is mad as shit. 
They get into a whole conversation about this where he's telling his wife, you need to lighten up and let me train my son. It would have been better if he didn't get his powers at all. This nigga is upset with his dad and I understand. So the next time these see each other, Mark done stopped the guy. His dad is telling him how sloppy he's doing it. And then he gets mad at his dad because of the emotional abuse that this nigga has been putting him through that he starts thinking that he's less than. Bro starts talking to his dad and it's like, I'm tough. I can do this. I'm strong. Hit me. Hit me. This nigga Nolan done abused this nigga so much that he created this weird ass domination kink in him. Nigga telling his dad to hit on him. It reminded me of Stewie that one episode where he had that weird kink with Lois where he was like, stab me, spit on me, step, step on, on my cubes. cubes. Like, bro, this nigga is yelling at his dad to hit him. He's like, I want to do what you do. I want to be just like you. It's crazy. Anyways, fast forward to father and son lesson two. Snake is throwing a baseball around Earth and catching it, which is literally insane. There's not much to say other than the fact that these niggas have got to be the best pitchers in the world. Paul said so that was crazy. Put this SD counter up. But I still had to mention this because niggas are literally throwing a baseball around Earth to each other. So anyways, at the end of this episode, we got the Omni-Man versus the Justice League. I mean, my fault. The, the, the Seven. I mean, my fault. The Guardians of the Globe. This shit was embarrassed. When I tell you that he punished these niggas, bro. So first off, they start jumping him. He called this distress call in and he shows up and he swings at a mortal. The Flash sees it and pushes him i'm sorry not the flash red rush this nigga sound like a fucking cherry soda bro he starts punching this nigga's chest bro it's doing no damage he grabs red rush's head starts squishing him until his eyes are popping out of his head it looks like one of those stress balls bro i'm not gonna lie this nigga was squishing the fucking eyeballs out of his skull to the point where his fucking punches were becoming limp they weren't even doing anything then he grabbed batman i mean on my bad dark wing grabbed his leg slammed him he's dead of course you killed a black man with one hit but anyways i digress so at this point martian man to wrap himself around him they start working this nigga i'm not gonna lie bro until he got mad bust out of martian man's body killed the green nigga. the green nigga became a pack instantly but i tell you he put him in this side. yo he packed this up expeditiously used his body to block the water from aquarius bro aquarius is shooting hydro pump at this nigga. The bro is a blast choice. He's blocking the water, gets to him. Wonder Woman rocked him, though. I'm not gonna lie, but he was like, hmm. Got rocked by the mace, countered, grabbed the mace, killed the fucking Aquarius nigga with it. Boom! Animal cruelty called Peter. I'm just saying. Then Martian Man is mad, rats around him again. He grabs Martian Man's heart from him. Boom! Rips him off, kills him. A mortal run up on him. He punched this nigga through his stomach, bro. He got this nigga intestines there. Broke Wonder Woman's neck. And then cut Immortal's head clean off, bro. And one fell swoop. This nigga has destroyed the Justice League by himself. This is what would happen if Clark Kent fought them niggas. But it would have been worse for Superman. I ain't gonna lie. Them niggas probably would have put that work. They would have put that pain in. I'm not gonna hold you. Especially with Kryptonite and stuff. There ain't no Kryptonite for Viltrumites. I ain't gonna lie. So anyways, after this happened, Omni-Man wakes up, bro. And this nigga is in the hospital, apparently. I ain't gonna lie. I don't even know if this nigga was really hurt or not, bro. But this nigga is a supreme gaslighter, bro. Talking about, Mark, I know you're upset set but this is a part of the job the way that he talked to this receptionist was crazy though he looked her dead in her fucking eye and was like go get my costume back i don't care how dirty it is i don't care how messed up it is i want it back it's it's top secret go get it now i was like first off nigga, don't you ever talk to me like that first off your breath is crazy right now hold on open your mouth <laughs> Yeah, let me put some motherfucking mint spray in it. Let me get put a Listerine strip under your tongue, bro. Secondly, if you don't get your fat ass mustache out my face, you look like fucking Mario Brothers. I ain't no way he would have talked to me like that. Anyways, moving on to Omni Man and Mark training. At this point, bro, he's telling this nigga Mark that he is too slow. He's like, nigga, you're too slow. You can't even hit me. After this happens, Alien, Alan the Alien, shows up. Mark gotta go fight him and shit. Whatever. He gets punished. That has nothing to do with Omni Man. But I wanted to mention that he got punished by, you know, Alan the Alien until they found out that he was an Omni Man. But uh, moving on. So Omni Man is getting interrogated, bro, by the government by this point. I, I, I'm not gonna lie. And this nigga Cecil is a nasty looking nigga. What's up with this nigga's lip, bro? He got a spider web on his shit. Bro, look like he got hit with a fucking girl girl on his shit, bro. His shit look tremored in. Why is his shit cracked right there? Bro, hit him with some lip balm, bro. God damn. But this man, Omni Man, is lying like shit, bro. Nigga said all this 
at the Cecil, Cecil was like, man, bro. So it was in the dark and you guys lost. Must be a super tough guy to do that to you. Like, you know this nigga Cecil don't believe this shit. So anyways, a couple episodes before, aliens had invaded Earth, bro, and Mark and his friends end up beating them. But this time, they needed Omni-Man's help, and I had to talk about this, because this was some demonic shit. Knowing that this man, Omni-Man, is a fucking terrorist to Earth, and that he's here to conquer it, when he tells these aliens, Earth is not yours to conquer, initially, when I watched this, I'm like, well, it makes sense. He's protecting Earth. But now that I know in hindsight, that is a very demented ass sentence because you know that you're there to conquer Earth. When I tell you this nigga speed blitz this entire race of aliens, he destroys their entire civilization. But everything ages faster there. So this nigga aged up. Doesn't matter. Viltrumites don't age. So it didn't even matter. But he destroyed these niggas, bro. He's watching them put in coordinates to try to escape, throws a fucking boulder at them. This nigga dropped a mountain range on these niggas. Who the f threw a boulder at the escape controls? But that leads us to the funeral, bro, where this gaslighter culminated everything terrible that he is by crying in front of the American citizens and these niggas' families acting like the fucking guardians of the globe were his friends. You do not care about these niggas, bro, at all. You literally killed them. I don't know why you're even pretending. Well, I do know, but it doesn't even matter because you know that they can't stop you. What are they going to do to you, bro? Arrest you? Come the f*** on. You might as well have just told everybody that you're here to conquer earth and did it doesn't even make sense he started don't naming care. them off and shit like they're his best don't friends care. you do not care, care about care. these niggas. i don't care then he's like darkwing well darkwing uh darkwing was black uh, he didn't say that but he basically said it he didn't have anything nice to say about that nigga. But the devil that was collecting information was a cold nigga, bro, because he was talking to this nigga Nolan, bro. And Nolan was telling him, like, you don't even care about this, bro. You just don't want to go back to hell. And he's like, yeah, maybe you'll know why one day. Like, damn. He told that nigga, I mean, man, you going straight to hell. And I believe him. So they get back home and Mark is wilding and rightfully so because as soon as they get back home this psychopath ass nigga is like hey guys you up for some pizza I can be to Italy like bro your friends just died right pizza time you're fucking talking about getting pizza and he's just acting all willy nilly like these deaths don't matter so Mark is upset he leaves his wife ends up arguing with him about it this was the craziest because she said Nolan your friends just died he cut her off mid sentence and said to co-workers what type of shit? You just called them your friends. What are you doing there, 3PO? Taking one last look, sir. At my friends. Spike! <laughs> she said they were your comrades or partners. He was like, they were weak. Red Rush, all he could do was run fast. That nigga sucked. Like, bro, he was talking crazy about them. Anyways, fast forward. Mark and Omni-Man are at Mount Everest, and this nigga is completely lying about the Viltra Mice, bro. Like, he's telling them that he's a part of the Betterment Committee and shit. We're going to get back to what Viltra Mice truly are later, but I just had to tell y'all that because it's, it's, it's relevant. Anyways, moving on. Omni Man and his wife had been arguing for days at this point. This nigga was like, you've been doing work stuff all day. And she's like, yeah. And he's like, you're the wife of the world's most strongest person. You don't have to do work stuff. And she's like, what? She's like, nigga, I'm not just your wife. That's why I do work stuff. I like work stuff. And this nigga goes, shh. He shushes her. Bro, this nigga is a gaslighter and a misogynist, bro. He basically telling her, hey, you're just my wife. You shouldn't even do this. What the fuck? And that all makes sense later. But we're not there yet. Hey, anyways, they were plotting on Omni Man and they tried to send him into Mars to get him away so they can investigate the house. But Mark steps in and he ends up going. At first, he was apprehensive. He was like, two week mission. Yeah, dad's right. I'm not prepared. But then his bitch ass, you know, he just he just did it. He went anyway. But it's fine because his wife was arguing with this nigga and then he gaslit her and finessed the cheeks. Bro, I know I've been using gaslight a lot, but this nigga is constantly doing it. He's terrible. Mark walked in on him and these niggas had to super speed stop fucking. Bro, how you gonna just act like this towards your son and your wife lied to them like this and finessed the cheeks like that? Anyways, next round of the training. Now they're doing space training. This nigga was pushing the meteor and he threw it into space. And Amber called. And Omni Man was like, no, your train is more important than these hoes. I'm not gonna lie, but anyways, Mark ended up leaving. This is leading into the part where he was helping his black brethren out with Machine Head. I, I know where your family, family lives. lives. You're gonna you work, work for me. For me. <laughs>
But bro, you know I had to talk about this nigga because he's a menace, bro. Because oh my god, nigga, a new challenger approaches Battle Beast. Nigga, this is the Battle Beast segment of the video, bro. Mark is getting jumped badly right now. I mean, they're fucking him up, bro. It's a lava nigga, some like robot lava nigga. Why is there two lava anyways? An electric nigga, a lick of tongue ass nigga. And then, you know, we got a uh, battle beast. So battle beast is fighting the rock. Nigga. He needs him. Boom. Hits him with the club. Mark got lava in the face. Then lick a tongue hit his ass. Omni man is a terrible dad. This nigga is standing over this, watching his son get folded like this and not helping at all. He's just watching it happen. This nigga Mark is even getting electrocuted, bro. So he snaps out. He's like, ah, you guys are up. he punched the tongue dude boom rock the lava guy he was like who's next and then it happened bro battle b started punishing this nigga squished his head to the ground and said hello boy started punishing him mickey 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 stumped on his head was rocking his body boom 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 so the guardians show up boom they part of they start mixing they started winning a little bit but then battle b started going crazy bro grabbed iron samson slammed him boom rock the robot with amazing mickey he slapped the fake ass ant man the small bit mickey he said i promised this world would have had some strong opponents but then he's about to kill mark with the craziest mace hit of 2021 bro because that wait it might have been 2020 i ain't gonna lie bro but he was about to smack this nigga crazy bro and then it happened psych i know you thought i was about to say Yanni man came to help no he smacked the shit out of this nigga with the mace hit this nigga so hard bro he had a knockback this nigga popped up from the ground bro he could have hit him with an uppercut i ain't gonna lie this nigga battle beast would definitely be able to juggle niggas and smash brothers i'm just saying so after this bro they end up going all out they end up beating all the rest of the niggas because monster girl got fucked up and battle beast teleported away but i had to talk about how he violated this entire group of niggas, bro so after this happens this is when we get to the nitty gritty of the episode and why omni man is a terrible ass nigga because his wife approaches him with the suit and he tries to gaslight her and say if you just trust me she's like how am i supposed to trust you nigga? you lied to me about killing six niggas why did you kill them to your friends so Ani man flies off yo breaks the fucking ceiling leaves the crib he could have walked out the front door but he flies to mount everest to practice lying bro so he comes home looking for mark bro He's like, Mark, Debbie. But bro sees a guard in his house, starts punishing him, squishes the one guard head, boom, grabs the other guard's gun, puts it through his body. Whole time he's getting shot eating the bullets. He punches another nigga, the intestines fly out. Then he uppercuts the last nigga out the crib. The nigga is crawling away. He flies over him, bro. Sees that he's going in the house. Goes in there, starts beating them guards up. He's like, you been spying on me? Nigga grabbed that nigga's spine, bro. Was squishing that shit. So he blows the house up and nothing happens. He's standing there holding no one, bro. Because the fucking bomb disintegrated the whole area outside of Omni Man. So at this point, he leaves, bro. He ate that shit. He yummy. So he ends up seeing Mark's friend William. He's like, William, where's Mark? He's like, call him. And he's like, oh, his phone's messed up. Where is he at? Where is Eve? Like he's really talking like straight direct to this nigga, putting a fear of God in him. So we ends up finding out he's west. He goes to get him. So Omniway's on the way there, and then this nigga Cecil teleports there, bro trying to get him to tell him what happened like bro why did you kill him he's trying to get any information he can bro but he's doing a terrible job bro this nigga is not trying to tell him shit. so he asks this nigga, does debbie know what type of person you are does mark know you're a murderer and he gets mad he teleports away these cyborgs show up you remember the fucked up cyborgs from that one episode they start biting this nigga on some mike tyson shit, bro on some jack Hama shit. start biting this nigga's neck punching him they got him on the ground nigga, fight back they are punishing him bro they were beating this nigga omni man on the ground like he was a congo drum bro oh, and i tell you they were drum lining this nigga. Do, 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 do. this nigga on the ground looking crazy they jumping the shit out of him anyways he ends up fighting back breaks one of them in half breaks the other one's neck uppercuts one head off stomp on the other nigga's head broke the other nigga's neck bro he was punishing them niggas so they released this big ass dragon that mark had to end up saving this nigga from at this point they're jumping this monster but a mortal is alive they put this nigga head back on he flies directly to where this nigga omni man is starts to working this nigga i am not gonna lie he is rocking his ass mickey 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 but i ain't gonna lie bro he punishing this nigga back bro he's hitting a mat blue goop blue goop talking crazy to him he said you should have just stayed dead a mortal mad at this point try to rock him but this man counter and then uppercut and kill him the same way through his 
fucking intestines. Immortal is gouging his eyes out before this nigga is about to die, and then he ends up chopping his whole body in half. And Mark sees the truth that his dad is a crazy ass nigga, which makes him snap. He's reaching out the Mark, bro. We got all this blood on him, so this nigga punching his dad. Mickey, Mickey, his dad's like, stop, Mark. I said, stop. So we tell this nigga story, he said, Mark, no, nobody's controlling me. It's just me. Then he tell him the story of the Viltrumite. And I ain't gonna lie, you know, normally I would tell y'all the truth, but you know, I got to hit y'all with that hood translation. That nigga said, hey, yo, gang, gang, gang. Hey, man, it's your boy, fucking Nolan, a.k.a. Omni-Man, a.k.a. Better Superman, coming out of fucking 63rd, nigga, the ward of Viltrum. Nigga. You know what the fuck going on, nigga? Fuck everywhere else. Anyways, my point is, yo, son. Listen, bro, we trying to conquer Earth, man. Let me tell y'all what really happened, you feel me? So growing up in Viltrum, all the Viltrums, you feel me? They started scrapping each other. Niggas started giving each other the crazy hands. Niggas is miggy, miggy, miggy. Weave, weave. Look up, look up. Niggas is fucking each other up, son. I ain't gonna lie. They beat the shit out of each other until it was only strong niggas left. I know you see that one big nigga on the screen right now. Yeah, zoom in on him, editor. Uh -huh, I'm breaking the fourth wall, you feel me? Anyway, my point is, that's a big nigga, bro. That nigga right there name is Conquest, bro. That's a demon. We gonna talk about him when we get to the comic version of this video. You know what I'm saying? If you just get 10,000 likes, <laughs> I'm just saying. But anyway, my point is, son, at that point, yo, we needed to spread our motherfucking, you know what I'm saying? Y'all mean out more. So we decided to send the different planets. And that's why I'm here. I had a son, you know what I'm saying? Fell in love with your mom and shit. You know what I'm saying? That pussy was crazy. But anyways, my point is, yo, he's like, this is good news. Mark is like, you lied to me. He's like, do you love me? Do you love mom? He's like, I do love your mother. But she's more like a pet to me. And I was like, oh my God, this nigga don't give a fuck about them. Mark is tight at this point. He's like, I don't give a fuck about Viltrum. I don't give a fuck about you. And his dad's like, Mark, I can't let you go, bro. I can't let you hinder what I'm doing. And starts to working this nigga. He was beating him up and giving him fucking lectures. Like, do you think you really can stop me? Combo in. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Grab his fist. Blicky, blicky. Bro, he is punishing this nigga. He's beating his ass while talking about how pitiful Earthlings are. Nigga ended up saving a fighter jet, bro. Just for this nigga Omni-Man to land and be like, why'd you save him? You did all of that for what? Nothing. And killed him. Went and killed the other two jets. And he's like, now we're later, son. If they die now, we're 50. What is the difference? He's like, you took his life away. Did seeing him die make you sad? Did it hurt you? Well, let's see how you handle this. Mickey! He punched this into a whole nother city. Bro, he's watching people be scared as hell while this is happening, bro. Couldn't save any of them. He says, what were they doing with those fragile lives, Mark? You couldn't do anything. In the grand scheme of things, your mom's life is ruined. And I'm like, oh, nah, at this point, you bringing his mom up. He got to start boxing. And he did. But then he caught his arm, head butted him, bro, into a fucking subway. Grabbed him by his head, bro, and said, I'm going to show you the truth used his body to break a whole subway car and was killing and shredding people up while holding mark's head in place so he could see it all happening he's like these people are meaningless the whole time they're dying mark said you changed dad he said i changed i did at one point but i'm loyal to viltrum nigga. Fuck earth nigga. and omni man started punishing this nigga again bro he says, you don't know me, Mark. I'll burn this place down before I live with these dumb animals. And then started destroying these niggas. Ate his punch. Rocked them. Kept doing it. Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. Your true education begins now as he's dragging this nigga. He is getting worked, bro. He took this nigga into a whole nother region. Beat this nigga to a fucking snow mountain. He said, have you had enough yet? Still rocking this nigga and says, you're doing this for nothing. Mark's like, what if they resist? We'll keep them from resisting. Either join or die. I'm like, oh my God. He said, you want to die for this planet? Fine. What's 17 more years? I can have another son. While he's beating this nigga the fuck up, he's telling him that he can have a whole nother son to do this with because he lives for thousands of years. But then he started thinking about Mark and how Mark grew up and he couldn't finish him. He said, why did you make me do this? He's like, these people don't mean anything, Mark. Thank Mark. He's like, you'll live past every single person that you love and respect. Everyone will be gone. What will you have after 500 years? And then in the saddest way possible, this nigga says, you, dad, I'll have you. And then this nigga couldn't take no more and Nolan flew off crying like a big ass pussy. But that nigga beat the shit out of Mark though, I ain't gonna lie. 